This is a voice cloning toolbox. It allows you to clone the voice of someone from only 5 seconds of audio and to synthesize speech with that same voice. I really, really was impressed with them. I thought that they did so well. And it was a tough final, you know, I think. There's a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence that has never gone out of style. Things that don't work and you just kind of barrel through it. You know, you get through it. You... There's a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence that has never gone out of style. And the other thing also was the format of the show. There's a way to measure the acute emotional intelligence that has never gone out of style. The toolbox is cross-platform. You can use audio files on your disk for reference or existing datasets such as library speech and Vox Celeb. You're also free to record audio yourself. When selecting a dataset, a random speaker will be selected, as well as a random utterance from that speaker. Click Loud to load the utterance in the toolbox. You can then play it. But now and then, on some just occasion, for vivid interest or wholesome indignation, once you load an utterance, you can see its smell spectrogram and a representation of its embedding. The embedding is a numerical representation of the voice. If you load enough utterances in the toolbox, you will be able to see a 2D space projection of all embeddings loaded. Embeddings from distinct speakers will form separate clusters. Let's select a new speaker to see that. You can see that the two speakers from distinct clusters. The model that creates the embeddings is not aware of the identity of the speakers, so the clustering is entirely based on the characteristics of the voice. I can record my own speech a few times to create my own embeddings. When you record an utterance, the toolbox will play it back to you. When you record an it is good to have at least three utterances from the same speaker in order to see clusters appear. With this last segment, my cluster should now become separate from the rest. With this last segment, my cluster is now here, and you can see that it is far from the other speakers because my voice has distinct characteristics. You could use this system for user identification through voice. On the plot of the most recent embedding, you can see that the same speaker will have some common patterns. Let's take a random speaker and load a few utterances. You can see that this speaker, for example, tends to activate this value and this value. For as long as you have an embedding loaded, you can synthesize a voice. The synthesizer is in charge of generating a mouse spectrum from the given embedding and the text prompt here. You are free to write anything to be synthesized. However, there are a couple limitations. The synthesizer was trained on datasets of audiobooks. Therefore, its tone may not be very natural for conversation. Also, the data sets did not contain punctuation, so it will be ignored. For now you must insert line breaks to mark poses. I am hoping to improve that in the future. Let's take the abstract of the paper this toolbox is based on as reference text. When you click on Synthesize, Tegatron, the synthesizer, will generate a mouse spectrogram of the speech. Clicking several times will generate slightly different speech. To obtain actual audio, you need to run the vocoder. First, let's listen to the voice this speech is based on. Point your telescope in such a direction at such a time, and you will see a new planet hitherto unknown to man. This must... The vocoder runs in sublinear time with respect to the length of the input, so it's more efficient on long sentences. You can see the real time factor here. We describe a neural network based system for text to speech synthesis that is able to generate speech audio in the voice of different speakers, including those unseen during training. Our system consists of three independently trained components. Say, a speaker encounter network trained on a speaker verification task using an independent dataset of noisy speech without transcripts from thousands of speakers. To generate a fixed dimensional embedding vector from only seconds of reference speech from a target speaker, a sequence to sequence synthesis network based on Tacotron 2 that generates a null spectrogram from text conditioned on the speaker embedding, an auto regressive wavenet based vocoder network that converts the null spectrogram into time domain waveform samples. Now that you have generated this utterance, the embedding will also be computed. You can see the synthesized embedding in the projections as they are represented with a cross. If the voice cloning was good, 
then the cross should be close to the cluster of the same speaker. However, remember that you will need at least three utterances from the same source for fair judgment. You can also select Griffin Limb as the vocoder. It is not a deep learning model, but it will run faster for short input and will generate less parasites than the pre-trained vocoder. However, it will lose many characteristics of the voice. This is an example of a sentence generated with Griffinlim. This is an example of a sentence generated with Griffinlim. This is an example of a sentence generated with Griffinlim. You will see that the Griffinlim generated utterances will form a distinct cluster. You can observe the same phenomenon with the pre-trained vocoder, but that cluster should be much closer to the ground truth utterances. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project.